can hold. And bear in mind that even when you feel the baby can hold something, don't just be, don't just give the baby just anything. You have to actually be mindful of it. I always talk about mindfulness, but you have to know that, you know, baby is now learning about. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of African Lady and a Baby. It's me again, Stephanie Oki. Right. So if you're just joining me, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you have to see and I hope you subscribe. And if you're coming back again, you know already, you already know you're like the best, hands down. <laughs> so yeah, this week I crossed 100 subscribers and I could not be happier. I am so thankful, you guys, really, you have no idea. I always say you guys have no idea and I'm literally like so excited about that. Like I'm hoping to get to 500 so if you guys can help me get there you know there's so many ways you can you can share my videos with your friends or anybody any mother anybody who's expecting a baby please share my videos it's really really important like i can't stress it enough this is a business from you i know some people don't even know like i do enjoy doing this because i really really want to help somebody else out there i know how much information i kind of wish i had when I just got pregnant and when I had my baby. And so doing this, where's my microphone? Oh my God. It literally... <laughs> hundred guys. So you guys are the ones who can help me by sharing what I have to say. If you have any mothers or if you have any expecting, any ladies who are expecting a baby, please share my videos with them they need to see and you know learn these things when i was pregnant there were so many things that i wished i could find on the internet that i just didn't find the issues i dealt with that you know if you just felt like nobody even wanted to talk about it on the internet and honestly i'm just here bearing it all and talking about my own life and my own experiences at the risk of you know everything because there's so many people who cannot just come out and really tell you guys about their health issues and i'm willing to do it just because i just want to help people out there i want to help lots of women out there so please 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 guys it's really the only way you can support me just share what you know share my message send it to people it's it's it, it won't cost you money i promise <laughs> But yeah, it's the only way you can support me. And if you believe in what I'm doing, it would really help. And it would be really nice if you could share it with someone. So today I want to give you guys some tips. You know, I had um, in, in the last week, I had a friend who asked me and she's not the only one. I have a couple of people who kind of get confused, you know, what play activities to, you know, do or give or I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm losing words. Anyways you catch my drift <laughs> for babies. So I just want to, I, you know, I, I decided to do this, just let you guys in on some tips, some of the things I've learned along the way and some of the things that I've read and just, you know, gathered to just tell you guys about activities you can do for your baby in the first one year of life. Let's start with the first month. We all know that the first month is the hardest like if you're not sleep deprived in the first month you literally are golden i don't know every mother is you are every mother's dream and so that first month is definitely the hardest and you know sometimes it just feels like all baby wants to do is just sleep and eat and sleep and poop of course <laughs> and you know all you do is change diapers and just produce milk if you're breastfeeding or just feed 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 you know what i mean so the first month is really the most daunting of them all however you know you, sh you should still know that babies still tend to have there, there are one or two things you can do when it comes to activity for your baby because from the moment your baby is born in fact even from the womb but let's just start with the moment your baby is born you can start helping the baby developmentally and so the the, the baby's pr what, what's the word the baby's crib or you know wherever the baby sleeps has to there's certain things you can do to just aid some of the senses and all of that say for example the eyes you you can start to stimulate the baby with 
colorful uh, hanging things, the things that hang over the the little, the bed, the crib. I don't know. If, uh, I, I usually just lose words for these things, but you know what I mean. So yeah, it's good to have them colorful things because those colors, and I know that some people don't like colors. Some people will be like, oh, I don't like children having too many colorful things. It looks ugly. It looks this. Well, the, the truth is, one, it actually doesn't even look that ugly. That's one. Number two, it's not really about the aesthetics for you, mama. It's about the baby and the baby's development. So when babies have colorful toys, it's not just because the makers just want to be annoying. <laughs> it's because those colors actually stimulate the senses. And so it's quite good to have. It's important to have them. In the first month, rattles are also nice the baby obviously cannot hold them but the sound you know everything the sound is pleasing to the ears you know soft sounds obviously don't go and start banging on drums next to the baby's ears just really nice soft sounds rattles um things that stimulate the senses of the senses of course so the ears as well soft music you know how you know like white white noise then tummy time i don't know how early it is to start tummy time for some people but for me from about one month i started tummy time and yeah in the first one month obviously you have to like you know all, all of it still boils down to you as the mother to know when you want to start or how comfortable you are doing certain things for your baby so yeah tummy time you can have a little play gym or play mat where you can put your baby to be on the tummy and it helps the uh muscles you know when the baby starts to push up and all those things uh, to be honest in the first month that probably won't happen so but it it's it just helps the baby to build one or two motor skills and so you know you can have your play mat that has little colorful things and little squishy squishy things that you know make little noises you will be the one making those little noises for the baby but it helps you can also have books books literally start you can start reading a book to a baby from the womb you can start reading like when the baby's in your stomach just be reading you can read the baby may not understand what you're saying but the pictures on the book you know baby books tend to have lots of pictures they're there for a reason it's so that you know the baby can use their imagination as well they can but obviously at that age they're not using their imag imagination yet so but it helps <laughs> yeah so the second month the second month also is very similar to the first month with rattles with the colors every other thing i mentioned just make sure you have toys that have good colors and then rattles musical toys toys that play music soft music you know teddy bears that make their little sounds of course don't let baby sleep with any teddy bear or anything like that that is a no-no nothing should be in the baby's crib i've talked about books with pictures and then you can start to introduce toys that have texture so you know not just the normal plasticky toys but like toys that have like materials or plush toys you can start introducing them again baby cannot grasp them at this age but the baby will still be able to feel it and start understanding that well oh things have different textures some some are hard like wood some are soft like a plush toy so you know you can introduce those in the second now month. in the third month again it's very similar to the first and second month where you have rattles you have your colors you have music but there's something else you can introduce you can start like um showing putting the baby in front of a mirror yes 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 the baby probably doesn't even know who they're looking at they you know they, they will just be like uh but it does stimulate the senses it helps the baby it's just nice the baby would actually really love to see that oh look at that other baby looking at me and not knowing that it's himself so it's really nice to have babies look in the mirror in our African society, don't think I forgot to you guys, you people will think that having a baby stand to a mirror is some type of juju thing or spiritual thing or it's like some type of forbidden thing. I mean, you guys should just relax, dear Africans, my people, please relax. <laughs> Mirrors are not juju, there's nothing to it, there's no witchcraft in it. Put your child in front of a mirror, nothing is going to happen. <laughs> 
Yeah. In the fourth month, again, you can still maintain. Just not notice that as you go on with each month, you don't drop whatever activities you had in the first and second month. You can still carry them on. So you probably will just be adding to them, adding to them. So by the time you get to the fourth month, you can then start adding like, um, toys that have music that react to the baby. So, you know, when the baby like kicks on it, it will sing <laughs> or something, you know, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just nice to have, um, toys that the, will react to the baby's movements because that will also keep the baby excited like knowing that well or, you know it starts to create that cause and effect thing in the baby's mind like oh so if i do this this sound is going to come on if i do this this sound is going to come on and babies like that it's exciting you know you can add that in the fourth month now by the time you get to the fifth month you can now start to add things that the baby can hold and bear in mind that even when you feel the baby can hold something, don't just be, don't just give the baby just anything. You have to actually be mindful of it. I always talk about mindfulness, but you have to know that, you know, baby is now learning about shapes. So have toys that have like circles, triangles, uh, square, building blocks and all these things, like soft, squishy ones. There's, there's, all sorts of ones you can have there um the ones that make squeaky squeaky sounds as well that are soft you know teething type of toys yes by the fifth month your baby might have started to teeth and so or even if they're not teething they will just start getting that uncomfortable feeling in their gums and so teething toys as well you should introduce them in the fifth month soft ones different types of teething toys that they can just bite on and of course keep it hygienic and of course watch what materials you're buying for your baby to put in their mouth please right. by the sixth month your baby probably would have started to sit up and so you know it's good to like start to encourage activities that will then encourage your baby to crawl or want to move forward or you know want to even stand to sit if, if you know because some babies do skip crawling so but obviously if you're give, getting any toy that your baby has to stand to sit just make sure that it's very sturdy and it's not one that you know will make your baby trip or something just make sure it's nice and safe so you can get balls the, the balls that roll or even a train that can or a car that can a toy car that can roll and the baby would want to go after it by the seventh month you're encouraging crawling still so you continue to use toys that can encourage crawling and you also should uh, you should get like things like stacking toys and use uh I, I mean i have the fisher price stacking toys that i showed you guys in one of my previous videos on toys that you know you you would need in the first year toys that are useful in the first year if you haven't seen it yet please go back to that video and you will see it you can get stacking toys like that you can even just use basic things in your kitchen i have measuring cups in my kitchen and if you have plastic ones or silicone ones, you can get those measuring cups and they are absolutely nice. Sometimes they're even co colorful too. And babies will love to stack them. Well, they probably can't stack at seven months, but it's just nice. And over time, when they learn to stack, they would actually love these cups and tools in your kitchen. There's so many things even in the house that you don't even need to buy stuff. There's so many things in your house that your baby can use to, you know, play with by the eighth month it's almost the same thing as the seventh month have activity cubes have stacking toys have um toys that babies can you know push pull to stand of course it has to be sturdy and again things in your household in your kitchen you have wooden spoons wooden spoons um wooden spatulas there's all or there's all of these things that children can play with in your kitchen so you don't have to go and start buying things every month please oh that's not the aim of this video make sure you actually catch what i'm trying to tell you guys here that toys can actually go on from month to month you don't have to go and start buying toys every month please please guys so by the time you get to the ninth month you're still in that same phase where you know pull to stand stacking toys toys that encourage movement 
Then you can also start getting toys that encourage language. So toys that talk to baby. So the baby pushes a button because yes, babies would like to push buttons at this stage. Baby pushes a button. The thing talks to the baby. The baby's learning words, learning. You, you get me. <laughs> and you can also start reading. Well, well you, you started reading at one month. Continue reading to your baby. Read um, books, show pictures, point to pictures, show this is a monkey, this is a dog, this is a cat. All of these things help the baby at this stage. So that's the ninth month. Let's move on to the 10th month. By the 10th month, baby is probably already on a roll. Some babies are already probably walking. You know, my baby started walking really, really late. My baby only just started walking. He's, he's literally just starting and he's 16 months. Yeah, some babies do start really late. While some babies at 9, 10 months, they're already on the roll. If you have that kind of baby, <laughs> but yeah at that stage obviously you're now trying to get your baby to start moving like seriously so you get the push toys you know like even the one here i don't know if you can see it guys can you let me let me show you it's a push toy <laughs> and right now it's serving a purpose <laughs> for me anyway I don't know why I make myself laugh. Yeah, yeah, so start getting push toys, toys that, you know, your baby can use to be running around, around, around the house. And um, at this stage, musical toys are also helpful. Um, xylophone, things that baby can press on, press on, push lots of different buttons and different sounds will come on. Trust me, trust me, my baby loves those button things. Like, they love them so at this stage you should get all these things that will just help to stimulate your baby even more activities even more stacking toys of course everything by now though well yeah baby is probably still teething so by the 11th month you want toys that encourage hand to eye coordination you want toys that have like beads this one has the little beads there you know beads like a kind of abacus that babies can also play with and count and you can help babies learn learn to count of course they're not really understanding but you know the brain for a baby is really absorbing so much so yeah those kind of toys do help again xylophone stacking toys toys that simulate uh, sorry Toys that stimulate the motor skills, the movement, they're all very helpful. Also, in the 11th month, toys that mimic things that mommy and daddy, you know, uses. Say, for example, a phone. Babies are very interested in phone. my phone. I, I literally had to buy a kind of serious, foolproof case for my phone because... If I didn't, this phone would have broken into pieces <laughs> by now. And so it's always good to have like a toy phone for your baby or a toy iPad type thing. And, you know, I mean, it all depends on you still. Some mothers say, oh, they don't want their babies to have things like iPads. But if it's just a toy, I don't think it hurts. And the world is moving. If your baby is not technologically savvy, we all know. <laughs> so yeah in any way to each his own so yeah just do what makes you feel comfortable and then let's and then move on to the final month huh, i feel like i've been running some type of race in anyway. the 12th month bring on the activities obviously keep what you've already had but bring on the activities bring on the crayons bring on the papers bring on the the, the cubes the stacking blocks all sorts of things the baby is on a roll by the 12th month and you want to just keep them active keep them engaged keep them having fun that's what babies are meant to be doing they're meant to be having fun i think i have said everything i can <laughs> if there's any other activities you have for us please 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 do not forget to put a comment down there and just let any other mother know trust me your comments helps you don't know who's reading reading it and who's probably going to learn a lot from it so if you do have any more tips on activities we can have for our babies please let us know 
at least for me for, for the second year like i'm still learning so please if you have any activities for the 18th month <laughs> i'd like to know just leave me a comment down below thank you guys for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel it really does help it really 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 helps i'm trying to get to 500 guys thank you have a great day Mwah. bye